From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. Anything interesting, brother? is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Better now? No. The pain only grows. Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. side of this door scare me most. The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight. Are you ready? Yes. There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. The symbol of our union. The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. I bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too.
The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. Oh! <laughs> 
If I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you, yeah. nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done forever in your head. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious no I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. Much for that boat.
You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. The mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. I can hold on to those Van here crests for you. So, bro, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Lunda. Would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Bait Fair and Bala? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. You could say the same about hot cheese. Somebody ought to save these, even if the van air won't. Do you regret it, Lemir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? 
I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't.
brother. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? And you tell that one-eyed nutsucker he owes me one! Fight me now and eternally! Well, looky there! Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness! I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? <laughs> Joints get classier by the day. Empty. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you suffered. I'm so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but... I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone the way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did.